The next job is to change this, mount this hand wheel instead. So I don't know whether you can see this here, but these cogs or, or gears or whatever you want to call them are not milled straight through such that the outer gap here is one millimeter bigger than the space on the inner. Down here you've got lots of tiny, they look like machining lines, but whether that was a CNC with what looks like a one millimeter bit in there or something, you see more clearly here, they're sort of like scratches. And for the life of me, at my early stage of education in this area, I have literally no idea how you would do that without a CNC. So ideally, of course, what I would like to do in a perfect world is machine this top here in such a way that it looks like that. But as I've just said, I just cannot figure how to do that. Now, I'm loath to bugger about with this because it's an original part and looking in the catalogue, it doesn't seem that you can find a replacement for it. It doesn't seem that they're available as a spare. However, what I'm going to bet on is that if I ever do need to come back to something like this, it will be in a future where my skills have improved to the point that I will know how to cut this kind of um, pie crust gearing. Put it on the lathe, lathe it down to about there, so we've just got this top cap bit, and then bolt it straight onto the top of that hand wheel. Excuse the shaky cam. Just to give you an idea, this is that centre hub. I've taken the um, the handles off it. You can see it has a key on it. So this is free floating on that hub, but it's keyed on it. So when it's pulled out from those engagement cams, whatever you want to call them, it um, turns the head up and down. Then when you want to go to fine tune, it locks in like that. And then we the fine tuning is achieved via this dial here, which uh, you can see as I turn that is slowly turning. So there are a few operations I want to do on this hand wheel on the mill. Um, first of all, I need to get this boss here to the correct height. The uh, center drilled out um, for the size of the shaft. And then on this side, just a couple of operations because these are going to have nuts and bolts or, or threaded things bearing onto them I want to make sure that that's milled smooth and also that's milled smooth Okay, I don't have a spin index or anything, so what I need to do in order to mill that smooth is to be able to turn this by hand against the cutter. So I need this to move enough, but not too much. So it's stiff, but it's consistent.
so that's how it came out not the prettiest it doesn't look great but it is actually a nice smooth surface Okay, so this didn't come out too bad. Um, I stroked a file across the top. There was a definite raised area on this face, and I think it's it's clear that the um, the wheel wasn't clamped down sufficiently, and there was just I think too much opportunity for it to waggle from side to side. Here's my little rookie error there, an apprentice mark I think they call them. I forgot to tighten the head and it pulled itself down so that was what that is about half a mil but it's usable so you saw I bored this out to 12 millimeters fits quite nicely on the shaft I tried I think now we've got as far as we can without modifying the original little hub itself which uh, I'm going to do on the lathe. Okay, so this is where we ended up with the um, with the hub. You can see I've trimmed it right down. You can just see the remnants of the threaded holes that the little bars went into. I don't know if you can see there, but I have marked off more or less in the middle, more or less in uh, thirds, where I'm going to drill and tap the corresponding holes in the speed wheel and use three of these uh, little cap head four millimeter five M M5 cap head bolts that I've got and then simply bolt the two together Brilliant. Right, so the three holes done. The last cap head screw, they fit in nicely. So now we've got to transfer these holes across to the hand wheel itself. So I've made a mandrel here just to pull these two pieces together. It's exactly 12 mil and it's uh, a pretty snug fit. I'm secured down here, here, and you can't quite see it, but here. So I've got three points where it's secured to the table. I've got a five mil drill bit upside down in there, which I'm using to center up on the hole, to line up on the hole. So I'm just now gonna swap out 
this um, five mil upside down drill bit for a four mil right way up drill bit. Right, so that's all threaded and tapped and bolted on. Now we have a moment of truth to see whether it will fit over the shaft. How about that? So that goes round nicely. So what I need to do now is, I don't know if you can see that keyway, a little awkward to get light on it. You see that keyway there? Well, you can see where the light's reflecting. That now needs to be carried on down the shaft of the wheel itself. Okay, after much wailing and gnashing of teeth, I um, filed the keyway in. And there we go, that's nice. It locks in okay and then pulls out where it's supposed to. These are the cogs that engage and disengage. When they're disengaged, obviously their handle has to be pulled out. And when that happens, it is secured on a snap ring there. Now you can see that we are just clear of the cogs and we are already immediately right on the snap ring. And this snap ring is kind of flimsy, it's not that big. What I would like to do is here have a washer just to bear on the, on the snap ring itself, just to give it a bit more stability. That boss here, that very slight raised boss, it looks to me to be about a millimeter, millimeter and a half maybe. So what I'm going to do, actually hopefully two millimeters. So what I'm going to do is mill that off flat and then hopefully that will give me uh, room for a washer and still clear the, um, the cogs there. Well, that was a bit of a bugger to clamp down and even then I had to skirt very carefully around where the clamps were clamping. I think we got away with it. There we go. There's just that tiny little bit up there that I couldn't quite get to, but um, it doesn't really affect the operation of, you know, putting a washer on there. I will go and uh, knock it off probably with a bit of wet and dry or a file or something. And then I think we're ready for a final assembly. Managed to get a, um, a washer on there. I think that's a, a better solution than just having that snap ring bearing directly on the speed wheel itself. Comes out, at which point it rolls the head up and down as it should very nicely indeed. It links in there 
and then we're on to the fine, the fine tune. So clearly it needed a drop of paint as well just to set it off. Unfortunately I only had gloss, really it should be a satin finish, I have some satin on the way and I will be fitting two smaller metal um, hand wheels like this to the table. That may be the next video or it may be fixing my lathe in the next video which um, seems to have developed some startling noises. Anyway, thank you so much for watching Harris and I hope to see you next time.